welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making a birthday card for my boss, and I work at a zoo. So first of all, I was thinking about using my Elizabeth Craft Designs lion and tiger dye to make a safari scene with whatever her favorite zoo animals are. But then I remembered that she really likes Glacier National Park. In fact, she has made the comment that when she dies, she wants to be cremated and her ashes spread at Glacier National Park. So I'm making a Glacier National Park scene, and I'm using my polar bear dye to make a grizzly bear. I'm making my background with ink blending. I'm using distress inks. So first of all, I'm using the mask that I made with Gina K. masking paper. And I cut this paper with the top of the Lawn Fawn Mountain dies. And I didn't cut it. I just kind of drew it with pencil and cut it with scissors. Otherwise, it had the little stitch marks that would be open. And the ink would go through that. So I just used that as a guide to cut the top of this out so it'll look like mountains in the distance. And I'm using a circle. And you can see I used that for ink blending before since there is ink on it. For my background, I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock, and you can get that at any craft store. And a lot of them you can use your 40% off coupon or wait for it to go on sale. And I cut it with my Lawn Fawn Rectangle die for an A2 size, so it'll have a stitched edge to it. But if you don't have a rectangle die, you can cut out um, paper that's A2 size, which is 5.5 by 4.25. And then I'm using the colors Faded Jeans and Weathered Wood. So those aren't quite as bright and they're kind of a dark blue to make it look more like a night sky. And then I'm doing that closer to where the moon is since the moon will be giving light. So it'll be a little bit more blue there. And then around the edges, I'm using the black soot to, of course, darken the sky to make it look like it's nighttime. Next, I'm masking off the sky so that I can ink blend on my mountains. And I'm using the color Pumice Stone. I didn't really have other colors to use, so it's hard to get different shading with just the one. But I'm trying to go over the darker areas more and the areas that's at the top. And also at um, under the moon, I want to leave a little bit lighter. Now... I tried to move my mask so that there wouldn't be a white space, but you'll see that I do get that, and then I have to keep moving it in order to get rid of the white line. I wasn't really successful with getting rid of the whole white line, so then I masked off the mountains again, and then went over the sky a little bit along the edge. I'm using the black soot for this because I figured it would be darker in the crevices of the mountain. Next, I masked off the top of the card so I can do the ground, and I'm using tea dye, vintage photo, and walnut stain. And in the one portion, I'm using the lighter color, which is tea dye, because I want to have a light area where the fire is going to be, and also the moon should be shining there. So that I figured that ground will be a little bit lighter. I'm using a piece of scrap paper to hold the card, so that way you don't get fingerprints on my card and also I don't get as much ink on my fingers. Off camera I use my Elizabeth Craft Designs dies to cut out the bear, the sign, and the fire. And these came from different sets and I'll list those in the description below. So I'm using different shades of brown cardstock. If you didn't have that you could also cut out white cardstock and color them with markers or colored pencils. Then I'm going over my pieces with some distress ink to give it a little bit more dimension and color. And grizzly bears are kind of usually brown but different shades and they're also called grizzled so the hair is kind of coarse but it's also multiple colors of brown. I'm going over the hot dog with festive berries. 
Next, I'm using my Nuvo Deluxe glue to attach all my pieces together. And I like this glue because it has a fine tip, which helps with these small pieces. I'm using tweezers to attach the small pieces on his face. I find that to be very helpful. I've used the same dies to make a polar bear for different cards, and I just cut out white paper and used Copic markers to do shadowing. So I'm trying to do different things with the same dies so you can see you can get a variety of looks and a lot of different cards to get a lot of use out of your dies. I'll add a link to one of my polar bear cards at the end of this video. I'm also planning on making a lot of cards with my cat dies and showing how to make different cats with the same dies. I'm using my black micro pen to add the words Glacier National Park to my sign. Next I'm using my brown micro pen to add some lines to give the distinct look of the wooden sign. Here I'm just adding some more tea dye to my sign because I didn't think it looked weathered enough. Then I just use my glue again to attach all my pieces to the front of the card. I kind of laid it out first just to make sure where everything would fit. I'm using finger daubers and barn door and spice marmalade distress ink to add color to my fire. I cut out some brown card stock with my Lawn Fawn Banner die, and I'm going around that with some vintage photo distress ink, and this is what I'll use for my sentiment. The next part is sort of a experiment that I'm using to add a little bit more detail. I'm using my distress ink marker to add some lines to the fire, and then I'm going to emboss it with my Lawn Fawn Glow in the Dark embossing powder. Next, I'm using my stamp platform to stamp Hope Your Day Close With Happiness. And I'm using my embossing buddy to go over it so the embossing powder only sticks where I want it to. First, to make sure all the words will fit on the banner, and then I'm arranging just the words except for glows and leave a little space for that. And I just kind of manipulate the stamps since they are photopolymer. You can kind of move them. And then I stamp them with memento black ink. This part is also an experiment. So I'm stamping my glows word in red with the distress ink because embossing powder will stick to that. And I try embossing it with my glow-in-the-dark powder. I'm not sure how that'll work out or if it'll glow, but I wanted the word glows to be a different color. I didn't think the word stood out enough, so I went over the word with my Distress Ink pen and then embossed it again. I still didn't like how it looks. I'm just using a red micro pen to go over the word glows because I thought it was more important that you could read the word glows than for it to actually glow in the dark. And I did test my card later, and it turned out the fire did glow in the dark, but the word glows does not. For the inside of the card, I'm stamping the sentiment Happy Birthday and a paw print with my Stamping Up Chocolate Chip ink. And this is just a dark brown color, so you can use whatever stamp pad you have and whatever Happy Birthday sentiment that you have. Then I use my glue to attach my fire and my sentiment to the top of my card. Finally, I used my ATG gun to attach my card front to my card base. And you could also use glue for that. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you could do so. And that way you won't miss any future videos. And I want to also thank you for all my current subscribers for continuing to support my channel. I hope that you like this video and this inspires you to try some new techniques and also to make some cards. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and thanks again for watching.
Thank you.